we've won a match. Hello and welcome to episode 3 of Rebuilding Derby. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode we've got two matches for you. First of all uh, Doncaster Rovers away in the EFL Cup second round and then a home match against Nottingham Forest in the EFL Championship. So let's begin with the, uh, the match against uh, Doncaster Rovers and uh, this is your team. It's uh, Calrus in goal, a back four of Nathan Byrne, Phil Jagielka, Curtis Davis and Craig Forsyth, Max Bird at the base of midfield, Ravel Morrison and Graham Shinney in central midfield, Josviak and Tom Lawrence, the wingers, and Sam Baldock up front. So we'll submit that team. And there it is in full for you. And uh, let's uh, give them a team talk. And we'll give them a bit of a um, a bit of a demanding one this time. We're playing lower league opposition in the Carabao Cup. So we'll uh, point the finger and uh, tell them we've got no excuses. And let's get into this. So uh, Doncaster Rovers start the game. But we're on the attack for Scythe with the throw in. It's crossed over, headed away. Burn picks up the loose ball and the highlight ends. But we've already got an injury and unfortunately it's Tom Lawrence has gone off so Jack Stratton's going to have to come on. Oh, let's compare him with Dylan Williams actually. Jack Stratton is two stars and Dylan Williams is also two stars. I think we'll go with the Jack Stratton because Dylan Williams can play left back. So we'll go with Stratton. Bring him on. Only eight minutes gone. Didn't want to make a sub so early. As you can see from the match stats, we're, uh, we were dominating, but um, Doncaster have certainly come back into it. And they now have their first chance of the game. But Roos has come out and claimed it, so I'm going to demand more and try and get more out of them. So Roos is looking for someone to show for him. He's gone with the big hoof downfield. He's picked out Stratton. Stratton to Forsyth. Forsyth plays it in for Stratton. Back to Shinny. Keeper saves it and it's cleared. And the highlight ends. It's back with uh, Kel Roos, our goalkeeper. Jagielka, Byrne, into Ravel Morrison, Josviak. But Josviak gives the ball away. Doncaster come forward. But they've given it to Josviak. Bird over the top and he's played in Sam Baldock. And Baldock scores. Put it into uh, effectively an empty net. We've gone 1 0 up. Now we just need to, uh, to try and build on that. And it uh, looks like there might not be any uh, further developments in the first half. Less than five minutes to half time now. And. Uh, if we can just see this through, which we have done, that's good. We'll give them a little, uh, let's uh, pump the fists. Things are going well, they are. We're winning, which hasn't happened very often this season. And uh, it's Doncaster with the ball. Uh, Dodo, Seaman, down there right wing, plays it back to Vilka, gets it back himself, Seaman, crosses it in but it's headed clear, Graham Shinney loses it but gets it back himself, Forsyth back to Davis, 
Forsyth gives it to Stratton. Forsyth gets it back. Quick exchange of passes and it's played through for Ravel Morrison who really should be doing better than that. He should have scored and Dahlberg makes the easy save. I think Josviak might be the next candidate for, uh, for coming off. But we'll hold on till 65 minutes if we can. Davis and Roos exchanging passes. Roos gives it to Jagielka. Byrne down the wing. And he's, he's going the full length of the field. Plays it inside to Ravel Morrison. Gets it back. Morrison. Byrne. It's crossed in and the Doncaster defence scramble it clear. And I think at this point we will make the substitution. Josviak needs to come off. So we'll bring on uh, Louis Watson and Bird probably is the other one who needs to come off but we'll wait to make that substitution till 75 minutes Doncaster with the ball again but they've gone back to their goalkeeper Doncaster goalie goes out wide left and it's in the Doncaster midfield it's gone out to their winger Galbraith has got it back and close Smith Doncaster have scored and it's 1-1 uh, one, one. so we need to uh, demand more and then I think we do need to look at another substitution with 10 minutes left Burn probably for Cornell MacDonald. And let's demand more. We certainly don't want to be losing to lower league opposition. So we'll demand more as soon as we can. We're not doing very well here. We're struggling quite a bit. Doncaster with a sustained spell of possession, but they've gone back to their keeper. The highlight's continuing, so something's going to happen. I suspect it might be that we're about to concede a goal. And that is exactly what's happened. Joe Dodo's scored again and I don't need to see the replay we will demand more in fact it was disallowed so we've got away with that one four minutes of added time We really, really don't want extra time. It's gone straight to penalty, so that's absolutely fine. Uh, Baldock, Jagielka, Stratton. I'm just going to add Shinny and Morrison to that list and let them get on with it. And let's do the team talk. I think we pump the fists. No. Uh, um, Point the finger, relax, pick your spot and don't change your mind. And it's Thiago Shuka with the uh, first penalty. But we've saved that one. Cal Roos has saved it. Sam Baldock with our first penalty. 
and he scores. So we're ahead. Vilka with a chance to temporarily level the scores and he has done. Jagielka with a chance to give us the lead again. And he has. Barlow with the chance to level it up for Doncaster. And he has just, it's crept under the goalkeeper. Stratton with a chance to put us back ahead. And he has, he's gone high. Keeper went the right way but was nowhere near getting it. John for Doncaster. Just, well, confident penalty in the end. Shinny with the uh, the chance to put us uh, back ahead again and he has Doncaster must score this or they're ranked and it's Greaves with their crucial penalty he has scored so we now have our first chance to win the match. And it's Ravel Morrison stepping up for Derby's crucial penalty. He's under huge pressure with this one. Morrison with a chance to make himself a hero and he has done. So we've won the match. And we'll just do a very quick team talk. So we'll uh, outstretch the arms. Well done, we weren't at our best. And uh, that's it. So I'll, uh, I'll see you at the next match. massive match up next as we uh, face our uh, Midlands rivals uh, Nottingham Forest at uh, Derby's ground at our, our home stadium and uh, your team for this uh, game is uh, Cal Roos in goal, Nathan Byrne, Curtis Davis, Craig Forsyth and Lee Buchanan the back four, Max Baird at the base of midfield, Louis Watson and Graham Shinney in central midfield, Camille Josviak and Ravel Morrison, the wingers, and Sam Baldock up front. Let's go and uh, beat Nottingham Forest. And once the players have uh, completed their warm up, we'll uh, we'll get going. And there's the uh, the team in full again for you. So let's uh, let's go and uh, give them some words of encouragement. I think we need to uh, give them a bit of a pump fist and tell them that they need to win. And let's, uh, let's go. First goal is crucial. Um, yeah, absolutely. I don't see why we're not capable of turning up and playing well. And let's go. Let's win it. So let's get underway. fire the lads up, give them a bit of encouragement. Buchanan with the throw in, gives it to Ravel Morrison, Shinny, and we take the early lead through Louis Watson with only four minutes gone. Fantastic start from the lads. As you can see from the league table, we're still bottom of the league, minus five points. But what that has done is uh, draw Nottingham Forest into the bottom three. So we're now seven points from safety. As things stand. And Ravel Morrison over the free kick. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. Just flicked the bar on the way over. The match continues with no highlights. 
half an hour gone, we're still 1 0 ahead. Ahead on XG, but neither of us has a, a good XG at this stage. A say 2 2 for Forrest gets it back. Yates gives it away, and Watson's got it. He's gone wide left, he needs to get his cross in, and he has done, but it's flicked away. Burn plays it wide to Josviak, who's fizzed the ball in. Ravel Morrison thought he'd scored there, I think, but he hasn't. Goal learn technology says no. Corner in and Sam Baldock puts us 2 0 ahead. the replay, Ravel Morrison fires it in and it's a bit scruffy but Baldock won't mind and neither do I Forrest keeping the ball in their back four they're starting to play it around in midfield, Garner goes back to his defenders Say Tuto gives it to uh, Johnson gets it back we briefly intercept, but Forrest have it again, coming forward. I say Tuto with the ball. He's managed to work his way out of a tight spot. And our keeper's made a save. Played a 1-2 with the defender, and the highlight ends. We go in at half time 2-0 up, which in a local derby such as this one, given where we are in the league, I think we have to uh, praise them and uh, keep it going. Um, um, quite a few players are starting to look a little bit tired. Can we get Bird off? Not really. Bird might have to see the game out, but Shinny can come off for Dylan Williams. Meanwhile, Byrne runs down the wing, gives it to Josviak. Byrne gets it back, plays Josviak in, give, gives it to Byrne. Back to Bird. Watson, but it's over the bar with the help of the goalkeeper. And it's a corner, but we don't get to see it, so it obviously amounted to nothing. I think we might need to give Ravel Morrison a bit of a rest. So we'll bring Jack Stratton on. And for our final substitution on 75 minutes, I think burn for Ebersaley. I'm just going to wait a few more minutes to uh, to put that one through and there we go we'll do that now but Josviak looks like he really needs a rest he's not going to get one today 10 minutes to go we're still 2-0 up and I'll be quite happy if this match just drifts on with uh, no more highlights And it, we do indeed see it out with a 2-0 win, which is extremely pleasing. So I'll uh, outstretch the arms, tell him it was a good win. Go and see if the media wants to have a word with us. They do. Um, certainly helps our chances. And a win like that always helps morale. So we do have a post-match press conference to do. Let's uh, see what they want to know. I think he was just looking to give it his side an advantage. Yeah, this sort of result can provide massive momentum. 
and that's all they want to know and there we go that's uh, that's this match uh, done and dusted okay we'll come back uh, tomorrow and um, I'll show you the uh, EFL Cup third round game away at Huddersfield Town and the uh, championship game away at Sheffield United and that will be uh, tomorrow at the same time 6 p.m. so I look forward to seeing you then and uh, if you've enjoyed that please uh, like the video subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for uh, for more football manager Thank you very much indeed for watching.